Did you see the video where I cleaned up this trailer? I had a lot of fun with that, it was easy. And did you see how I fixed the tail lights? Well, I'm in Baltimore, Maryland, picking up a load. That's me, see the, that's me right there. How do you like this tail light? You know who did this? You've seen her. It's that, that like five foot six, five foot four girl that doesn't know how to drive yet. They drive big SUVs. Guess she was on her phone or something. Drove right into the trailer. Oh well. We're picking up cargo. So when the ship comes into port in New York City, the containers get trucked out to New Jersey. Each can gets stripped down, and if you have a full container, you're good to go, but if you have uh, less than a full container load, that's what we deal with, then your cargo gets shipped over to a U.S. Customs approved warehouse where you pay fees. When those fees are paid, your cargo is loaded into containers and then wheels are put on the containers and they're ready to get shipped to Baltimore where we're standing now. This container obviously has a bunch of mother-in-laws in it. The ride to Baltimore is pretty short, especially because these drivers, they work, you know truck drivers, they work all the time. But once in Baltimore, the containers sit. And if you're one of the unlucky containers where the wheels had to go back, you get dropped off and your cargo sits and waits and waits and waits. The weeks can go by. And if you have customers waiting, they get bent out of shape. <laughs> I don't work with anyone that takes deposits, so nobody can be upset with us. Here are the instructions. Go all the way down, you see a big ass door. Just sit there, I'll find you. I like it. <laughs> I know enough about the shipping business to know that things get delayed and things don't arrive when they're supposed to and oftentimes what you ordered doesn't even arrive but when you try to explain to people what the delays are of course you don't give them every detail they have to kind of take your word for it but all these trailers are still waiting to get unloaded and this facility only processes three cans a day. <laughs> That's where the two week backlog comes from. Ironically, I'm supposed to be in Maine. You're just seeing a little bit of this. It goes on forever. <laughs> they even got stuff out in the bushes. <laughs> There's a traffic jam and uh, I couldn't actually get out of this place. <laughs> it's all fun for me. It's not fun for all the people that have to work here and all the people that are blaming all their problems on other other folks. A lot of that's going on here. I brought the whole office flowers. I brought about a dozen bouquets. So that got me loaded before the other guy. 6403, no, that's not it. 657, no, that's not him either. These guys brought a U-Haul truck, not realizing their cargo doesn't even fit in that truck. These aren't the most friendly places. If you're in New Jersey, mm, that's a scary place to be. Ah, it looks kind of pretty like that, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart, get the load lower. I don't wanna catch all that wind. Daylight. Well done. I prefer the load to be lower like this. It won't catch the wind the way I had it before. And we're all set. Now the trick is to make as many trips as necessary. It's about 30 some miles one way. And there are about $28,000 on here. So let's hope that no ladies and SUVs run into the trailer. <laughs> we had our one incident for the day. Let's hope it stops at one. Because uh, I'd be in some trouble if we did more of this. Thanks for watching everybody.